Google does one of these videos every year, and it's like my favorite video to watch at the end of each each year. I love it. Man, I have not seen those before. I was ready for, I've, I've seen so many things on social media about how this last year was like a dumpster fire and all that. Um, that video was way more inspiring than I was expecting. Uh, thank you so much for sharing it. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice to have the balance because there were some good things that happened this year. <laughs> That's right. It's, it's good to remember that. So um, it's good to see the things that have happened like worldwide and in our country um, last year. And it's important to think about the things that have happened in our own lives in a matter of a year. So, Mr. Baltima, what is something that was super significant that happened in your life in 2020? Oh, man. So um, I had a very exciting year personally. Um, a lot of things happened that you know my wife and I are very thankful for um, but I'm just going to focus on one because it's one that I actually made a goal around um, and I'll, I'll talk more about that in a moment but as some of you know I really enjoy rock climbing um, and this year I decided at the start of the year I was going to make a goal and actually set a path to get there so I picked a level of uh, climb a, a difficulty that was really tough for me and um, and set that goal and like worked really hard uh, and I met that goal. And so that was that was like a big moment for my year. That is awesome. It's like yeah. the best to accomplish something that you like decided you wanted to do. Yep. A hundred percent. How about you, Miss Veda? Um, so I have lived in Colorado for just over a year and a half now. And so one thing that I feel like I accomplished in 2020 was like making Colorado my home. Um, so it's not just something like a place where I'm like here for a little bit and then I might leave sometime. It's like I'm, I've established like a lot of friendships and I've gone hiking a bunch, I actually went snowboarding. Um, that was, right. it was scary, but it was fun. Um, and I'm like proud of the life that I have built here. And I'm like excited that like by the end of 2020, I was like very confident in calling Colorado my home. That's awesome. That's such a good feeling. So after reflecting on the year, um, it's also super exciting to be able to plan for what you want this next year to be like. Obviously, there are a bunch of things that we can plan for, but there are the rest of the things we, we can't. So, uh, Mr. Baltimore, what is one thing that you hope this next year will bring? Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to double down. I'm going to set a goal for myself that's even harder because, um, because I saw how much a smart goal, <laughs> setting one for myself in a personal area, like really worked this, this last year. So that's something that you'll have a chance to think about later today and tomorrow in this advisory space. Um, but when I set this goal for myself at the start of the year, I like set a path to get there and I, I set steps along the way. So like I bought a book that showed me how to train for climbing. I read it and I annotated it just like I tell you guys to do because it works. Um, and then I even like went out and bought something called a hangboard and like hung it up on my wall so that I could do, um, exercises on it and like, um, I, that gave me things to do each day and specific steps to reach my goal. So that's what I'm going to do um, for this upcoming year. I'm going to set a goal for myself and then like, what are the steps that I need to get there? That's awesome. I love that. Thank you. I think, I mean, everyone talks about how like you set New Year's resolutions and then like it's so hard to follow through with them. But when you had those steps, like you said, it makes it a whole lot easier to accomplish. Exactly. Um, so for me, I love cooking. And so this year, one of my goals is to, um, cook more consistently and try like all kinds of like different dishes. Uh, my brother got me a cookbook for Christmas. And so, um, him and his wife are also going to like be doing the same recipes that I am. And so one way that I know that I'm going to like be better at accomplishing this goal is because I have the accountability of my brother and his wife. Um, so I'm super excited to eat a whole lot of hopefully tasty food this year. Oh, and when we go back to in person, you're going to bring some in to share with everybody, right? Totally, totally. Awesome. 
<laughs> that's fun. Yeah, having a partner on your goal really helps. So that's another useful, useful tip there. Mm -hmm. So as we are closing out this morning, um, think about what do you want your 2021 year to look like? Again, a lot of things you can't control, but there are also a lot of things you can. And um, think about the goals that you have and the steps that you're going to take to get there, the people that are going to hold you accountable to those goals. Uh, great points to remember. Thank you so much, Ms. Ada. Have a great day, everyone. Bye, everybody. Happy 2021.